Prating now at the starters for race 14, Provincial Cup number trial one. They go for 5,000. One is Moscow Chip, owned by Greg Monroe, Greg the driver. Two, Denmaster, owned by William Andrew. Driver is Earl Smith. The three entry, Happy Family, owned by James Shive of Shupanakini, Nova Scotia. Note the driver change, Claire McDonald will drive. Four entry, Tenderfoot, owned by George Anderson and Perry Ivany, the driver, Rod Jamison. Horse five, Woodmere Jet, owned by Neil Mose of Cornwall, PEI, the driver, Mike McDonald. Horse six is Give Me Luck, owned by Sandra Foley of Fredericton, driver Steve Mahar. The seven, Kelly Chameleon, owned by Ken St. John of Beaverbank, Nova Scotia, driver Robert Laffin. Horse eight, Comedy Hour, owned by David Bishop of East Riverside, Jill Berrio in the sulky. Eight starters for race 14, Provincial Cup trial number one. It goes to post in about five minutes. Four in a row for this horse, Greg. He busted the gate, had it all his way, and uh, Gary McDonald and Glyden Willis and all of those connections have to be thrilled. Well, we, we've been waiting to see the real island storm all season, and I think uh, over the last few starts, uh, we, we've seen him. Uh, he's really come back to top form, and I don't think he's been any better than he was today all season long. He was really extra sharp today, and no one could get to him at all. And uh, I guess it's appropriate with the weather that we have a horse called Island Storm winning. It's getting a little bit dirty here right now. Uh, sunny side of street second. And Paris Reflection got in for the third. He was the subject of a nice piece on CBC television yesterday. Reporter Michael Stewart was down to talk to Jill Berrio, and he thought that uh, the inside post position might help him do a little bit better. He didn't expect great things, but that's a super check for Paris Reflection to claim. Trial one of the Provincial Cup is up next. And Comedy Hour leaving from the outside post. We saw him a little bit earlier on the program today winning the Kinsman Pace last Monday at Charlottetown. Uh, see the odds on favorite here? Well, it, it's hard to say. He does have the outside post. Uh, he is taking a lot of money right now. He's at 350 as we uh, take a look at the odds board. But he bounced back really well in Charlottetown. He uh, had a rough trip in the Gold Cup and Saucer final. And uh, Gilles Berrio and uh, David Bishop knew going into that race they had a tough assignment. They took a shot trying to leave. And I think once he realized he wasn't going to make the front, they didn't, uh, they didn't overdo it. They didn't kill their horse. They uh, wanted to save him for another day. And he bounced back impressively in Charlottetown, winning the Kinsman pace. And I think uh, he'll be good again today. He's not meeting as tough a field as uh, he's met in his last couple of starts, but he does get the outside post again. He's been drawing poorly of late, but I think if anyone can overcome it, it's him with his uh, tremendous early gate speed. And who else do you think might make an impression? Well, I'm going to number four, Tenderfoot, uh, simply for the fact he's been racing this type of horse week in and week out. He's been a consistent performer at the top level here all season long in the Maritimes, and he's been uh, very consistent as well. So I think he's going to be the, the uh, another one to watch here. I'm going with the old veteran Happy Family for third, making his first start back. He's familiar to most Maritimers here in the uh, Maritime top class circuit. Good to see him back, and good to see Musco Chip uh, returning. We see him, he's got the rail here this afternoon. Both of these horses uh, coming off qualifiers, so it's really up in the air as to how they'll do. But I'll go with the old veteran Happy Family. I'm sure he's ready to turn in a big effort at first asking. Yeah, I'm, I agree with you with, uh, on Comedy Hour as well, Greg. Uh, he raced so big in that trial for the Gold Cup and Saucer and uh, showed his stuff again last week, as we saw earlier. The horse that I like in here a little bit is Gimme Luck, number six. He also has raced these top-class competitors, and I've been really impressed with the way that he's handled the half-mile track after coming down here. He was claimed by Sandra Foley, really, for this circuit, and she was able to make the Gold Cup and Saucer final, and that was great. And uh, you're going to go with one horse off of the qualifier. You like Happy Family. I like Musco Chip. Uh, I just like this horse. I don't know. You know, he hasn't raced since April. Uh, he's trained back strongly, though. I talked to Greg Monroe last week, and with the rail position, you might see him break into the top three right now. He's the longest shot on the board, along with Kelly Chameleon. Kelly Chameleon's another horse. Uh, they put a martingale on him last Sunday in Truro, and he came up with a super, super trip. Well, he's been getting acclimated, I think, as well, to the uh, maritime soil, and he uh, seems to be really fitting in well now at the top level. He, as you look at his uh, chart lines, he is a stone front runner. He loves the front end, and he can really bust the gate, so he's going to need that today from post seven. 
That's right, and uh, the top four in this race will qualify for the final, which comes on Friday night next week during A&E week here in St. John. Trial number two will go on Monday night as part of a program that also includes the Atlantic Sire Stakes for two-year-old Colts and Phillies. We'll give you a shot to make some money here in the last race of the day. We'll be back to wrap things up, and Greg will even get a chance at talking to the winner of today's race, uh, the winning driver, I should say, on her way back into victory lane. Good luck. For the lead, and so it was Tenderfoot and three wide. Comedy hour into the turn. It is Tenderfoot, the leader. Kelly Chameleon racing is second. Comedy hour, three wide. Racing on third, Moscow Chip is a fourth at the rail and the three wide up the back stretch, racing to the quarter. Uh, Tenderfoot and Kelly Chameleon going up and at him. Comedy Hour, Paulo's cover now. He is the third. Then Musco Chip is fourth at the rail. Kelly Chameleon, the leader by the quarter. At 28 and four, they're into the top turn. Kelly Chameleon on the outside. Tenderfoot has second at the rail. Comedy Hour outside is following cover. He is third. Musco Chip is a fourth at the rail as they swing off the top turn. On through the stretch to the half, Denmaster racing fifth, and then it's Woodmere Jeff driving to the half, pacing on top, tender foot, and on the outside, three wide goes Denmaster. He's charging to the front. Denmaster, the leader, the half and 59 and three, the rid of the turn, tender foot and Denmaster. They're nose to nose. Musco Chip is racing a third. They race by the five eighths. On up the back stretch for the three quarters, Tenderfoot and Denmaster. Musco Chip is right there, third. Woodmere Jet is a fourth. They drive, it's Happy Family, fourth, moving on three wide to third. Then Musco Chip, Woodmere Jet, Comedy Hour, Gimme Luck. And the trailer, Kelly Chameleon, 129 and three by the three quarters. Round the top turn, Tenderfoot is holding his lead, challenging a second. In between horses, Denmaster coming wide on the outside. It looks like Woodmere Jet. Woodmere Jet on the outside and Tenderfoot on the inside as they come to the line. It is Woodmere Jet and then Happy Family, then Tenderfoot, then Denmaster, Musco Chip. Then we go to Gimme Luck Comedy Hour and Kelly Chameleon. Time for the mile. 159 and 3. Mike McDonald, uh, Woodmere Jet, scratched from his last start in Charlottetown. Obviously, it wasn't anything major. No, no. He had a pus pocket in his foot. That's what it was. And a uh, young fellow worked on him. I didn't do anything to him. Just a kid there worked on him. And the off track today, uh, again, no factor to this horse. No, no. He, he can go any kind of a track. You know, he's, he's, he's just a nice little horse in his class, you know. You were very patient with him today. Uh, you still had a lot of ground to make up in the last turn. Did you know you were going to get there? Well, I was more or less was just going to go to try to get in the final, you know, to make sure. But the way he warmed up, he warmed up like he was himself. And, you know, when I was up the backstretch, I, I kind of thought he probably would win. He's had some good success since he's come back to the Maritimes. Do you think he, he fits in here at the top level? Oh, yeah, he for sure he does. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, unless he finds some way now to have something else happen to him, you know, he's, he fits in with this gang, don't worry. Great. Thanks a lot, Mike. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much.
All right, we're going to continue into the winner's circle here. Uh, we're going to turn it up trackside for the winner's circle presentation, and Chris Connor will be back soon to wrap things up here from Exhibition Park Raceway.